outstanding visual effects are today created almost entirely digitally with the use of computers. For that, a powerful software is required. In this video, you'll find an overview of most common computer programs used at VFX production houses. Almost every VFX studio is a bit different, and so the software they use can vary. But the range of possible options isn't that big, and we can list the most common ones. To do that, we'll have to divide it according to the departments. I'll show you the software used for modeling, animation, texturing and shading, FX, rendering, match moving, rotoscopy, and compositing. Modeling. In this category, you'll have the most possible choices. The commonly used modeling software for VFX is Autodesk Maya, Autodesk 3D Studio Max, Pixologic ZBrush, Autodesk Madbox, Foundry Model. The most popular is Maya, but also 3D Studio Max from Autodesk can be found in almost any VFX house. Name any VFX heavy film and at least one of those programs has been used there. This is a powerful and flexible software, which however comes with a high price. Pixologic ZBrush is an industry standard for 3D sculpting, especially for character creation. In 2014, Pixologic co-founder Offer Alum received a technical Oscar for his work on ZBrush and in pioneering the concept of multi-resolution sculpting. Today, ZBrush is used in virtually every film that requires visual effects work. It played a key role on titles like Avatar, The Avengers, Lord of the Rings and Hobbit films, Star Trek Into Darkness, Iron Man, the Pirates of the Caribbean, and many more. Autodesk Madbox is another 3D sculpting option. Although not as popular as ZBrush, it is present in many studios. Originally, Madbox has been created as an internal modeling tool at Weta Digital. Later, it became a commercial software now developed by Autodesk. Foundry's motto is the youngest in this category. Originally, it was created by key Lightwave engineers. Later, taken over by Foundry, a company specializing in tools for VFX. Animation. In this category, there's only one option, Autodesk Maya. Although almost any 3D software offers keyframe animation, Maya is the industry standard. Originally released in 1998, Maya's widespread use in the film industry is usually associated with its development on the film Dinosaur, released by Disney in 2000. If you want to be an animator, this is the software you should learn. Maya and its developers have been awarded with three Oscars so far. In 2003, Elias, a company developing Maya at the time, received an Academy Award for Technical Achievement for their development of Maya software. In 2005, Maya's team received a second Oscar for the invention and application of subdivision surfaces. And in 2008, Maya Fluid Effect System was awarded with Academy Award for Technical Achievement. In 2005, Maya was bought by Autodesk. Texturing and Shading For shading, usually the same software is being used as for modeling. That means Autodesk Maya, as the most popular one, Autodesk 3D Studio Max. Both featuring a node-based shading system. Additionally, textures are being created with Foundry Mari, Substance Painter, 
recently acquired by Adobe, and of course Adobe Photoshop. FX Water, smoke, fire and other simulations are being created with Houdini, Autodesk Maya. Houdini is the standard when it comes to procedural simulations. It's present in nearly all VFX companies. In 2018, Houdini has been awarded with a technical Oscar for its Dynamics Framework and Workflow Management tools that have helped it become the industry standard for bringing natural phenomena, distraction and other digital effects to the screen. Rendering By rendering, I mean the engine responsible for final 3D image generation. Usually it's connected to the modeling and shading software, and the most popular for VFX creation are Autodesk Arnold, V-Ray, Pixar's RenderMan. All of those share a similar popularity in VFX houses. Sometimes they're using only one of those, and sometimes all of them, depending on the application. The oldest one is RenderMan, which was first created in 1991. It was developed by Pixar as an internal tool, but later became a commercial software, now offering even a free, non-commercial license. You might be associating RenderMan with animated movies, but it's responsible for generating 3D images for movies like Terminator 2, Jurassic Park, Lord of the Rings, Titanic, Avatar or Star Wars Force Awakens. RenderMan was the first ever software product to be awarded with an Oscar. It was in 2001 when they have received Academy Award of Merit for significant advancements to the field of motion picture rendering. RenderMan has been used on 27 out of the last 30 movies that won Best Visual Effects Oscar. Match Moving When it comes to extracting camera motion information, from the film footage, or object match moving, three main choices are available. 3D Equalizer, Synthize, PF Track. 3D Equalizer is the most popular and powerful one, used for VFX production since 1996. It received a Technical Achievement Award in 2001. Rotoscopy Paint and roto are one of the oldest VFX techniques. Current standard for roto software is Silhouette and Mocha Pro. Both programs have been awarded with a technical Oscar and both feature advanced tools necessary at any VFX house. Additionally, rotoscopy is often performed in Foundry Nuke. Compositing Currently, there's only one major software used for compositing at almost any VFX company, Foundry Nuke. Nuke is a node-based digital compositing application. This is the industry standard. Its beginnings reached to 1993, when it was developed at Digital Domain as their in-house compositing tool. Years later, it was made publicly available. Currently, it's developed by Foundry. Nuke won an Academy Award for Technical Achievement in 2001. A similar software, however far less popular, is Blackmagic Design Fusion. If any of you is thinking, what about Adobe After Effects? The answer is, no, Adobe After Effects is not used at VFX houses at least not for most of the major movie production. You can find After Effects used for motion graphics or TV advertisement compositing. However, its layered-based system is too limited for complex compositing tasks. If you'd like to familiarize yourself with node compositing, I can suggest trying Natron, a free and open-source clone of Foundry Nuke. 
Although it contains a fraction of Nuke's tools, it can be a good start as it's almost identical to Nuke. Of course, there's a lot more software being used for VFX production. Some VFX houses even develop their own software not available publicly. However, the applications that have been mentioned here are the standard. Developed since many years, acclaimed and awarded, successfully tested on many professional productions. If you're planning a career in VFX, you should get familiar with them. Thank you for watching and please subscribe for more videos about VFX and its history.